What's up guys? I got one for you today. What we're doing today is spec fishing. And I've got a special guest. You guys recognize him. That's Clams, my buddy Will. We finally got together. Um, he was passing through and I said, what do you want to do? And there's a bunch of stuff. And I'm like, well, I've been catching crappie lately. Uh, so he met up with me and we're out here on the lake. But what I'm doing is a five gallon challenge. My goal today is to catch at least one fish that's as big as a five gallon bucket. And if you do any kind of crappie fishing, you know that that's a monster. And uh, I call them specks. Y'all probably call them crappie. Or if you're from Louisiana, you call them sakale. But whatever you call them, they're good eats. And uh, we're gonna catch a mess of them today. Will's on his first crappie. We're assuming crappie. <laughs> um, they, the way it is, is we're just trolling, you know, and they kind of plane up. Just steady pressure. Steady pressure is what you want to do. I'm not in that Dude, that line. is a big fish, bro. Like, that's a big one. All right. Just bring them to the net. <laughs> Boom. Bro, you just hit a five-gallon bucket challenge on your you first go. fish ever. Look at this. And I thought the boat ride was a good one. Look at that thing, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is every bit of a two pound uh crappie right there will and <laughs> i don't know people out there there'll be some like good crappie fishermen here um i just want to point out i am not a good crappie fisherman i just kind of figured something out but uh that's a trophy man all right <laughs> high five this has been a trip of first this is awesome we're on we're on we're on just go ahead nice and easy reel them Will's got the hot hand today. Every time I pick it up, the fish comes off. So <laughs> I'm gonna let him reel the rest of them in. Oh no, I gotta get the net. Here we go. <laughs> That's another big fish, dude. Just bring him right into the net. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> My man. The other one. We got one on the short rod, folks. Oh, 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 it's screaming drag. <laughs> Dude, this is a big fish. Oh, it smacked it, dude. Oh, wait. Uh, Did you get the net? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually not. It was just on that really short rod. But I mean, it's still a good spec. Like that's your just like average. That's your cooler fuller. There we go. Nice North Florida spec. For you northerners, crappie. For you people from Louisiana, sakale. But actually for eating, that's like about my favorite size. We're doing all right now. Okay. I think, right. I think it's warming up and the fish are getting a little more apt to bite. Look at the colors on that thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Amazing. Well, in the live load. And I'm gonna grab me another minner. I was just telling you how when they hit that short rod, it's pretty dunk. Clams has got the hot hand. He's on a big one. Oh, oh. I think you're good. I think you're good. We're good. We're good. Here, I'll let you come over here. Dude, that is another monster. That is a <laughs> tank. Holy. <laughs> Look what you just caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay <laughs> just barely hooked too all right well that was like almost a double hookup really that was not quite as big as your first fish but <clears throat> definitely yeah, a mondo let's check him on the bucket bucket challenge oh uh, i think he's just he's, short. he's almost in the bucket club just a little oh. short He's like a half inch short of bucket club, maybe a full inch <laughs> if I'm being honest, but we've already got one bucket in the uh, live well. I think I need a picture with this one. All right, cool. <laughs> Is this one me? Is this That's one me? You. All right, come we, on. We just got stuck on the short rod again. Right. Oh, we got a head shaker, oh. a head shaker. It's a good fish. That's a good fish, bro. Oh boy, <laughs> look at this thing. 
That's a tanker. He's not. That's another good one. I'm gonna say he's almost a five gallon challenge, but not quite. I think that's about the size of the last one we just got. Dude, if we cut these all day, we got a hell of a fish fry. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful St. John's River speck. Look at look at this fish, dude. Like that is an absolute giant. If you do any kind of crappie fishing, you know that. So I'm going to put some ice. In. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> and. Since I'm tug trash, I'm going to put the drinks right back in on top. Clams is on. Clams got a monster. All right. He's running. He's running. <laughs> Mondo. This one definitely had a little pep. Now it's coming in easy, though. Yeah. He, he had an initial run. Y'all thought you were watching a Wahoo video. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And you could probably boat flip these, but I just, you know, for like the number that you might lose right at the yeah. boat, it's not worth it to me. Let's try it with the next one. Yeah, just <laughs> just so we can look like rolling bars. Oh, look, exactly. Let's not try it. <laughs> exactly my point. See, and that is like just an average one, but good eater fish. Again, in New York, you would be, you'd be dancing to have that. That's... Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say, take a second and point out how amazing out it is today. Like the lake is just completely glassed out. You almost can't tell where it ends and the sky begins down that way. Just absolutely beautiful day. Oh man. All right, pressure's on. Oh, where's the net? I got it. I'm, oh, I'm you gonna go, I'm gonna go both. So it does it all. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. He's these things, like I, I keep saying, but how pretty. And you know what's crazy about them is if you look at their eyes, you can tell that they're a visual feeder, how big their eyes are, and they're looking up. So they're just slamming stuff as it comes by. Another nice one. Oh, that's a big fish. We got a head shaker. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. This might be, this might be a bucket. Might have made my five gallon bucket challenge. If I don't lose it. He's pulling drag, bro. Oh, let me get that. It's just very nice. Got him. Which maybe a little less. Anything over two pounds in the crappie fishing world i think is generally considered like a trophy um i don't they have a scale at the dock that we can use i don't think he's gonna quite make it but we'll look oh he's really close but so we're we're a half inch but uh it's pretty close all right, folks, I think we've got at least 10 in the cooler, if not like 12, maybe. I don't know. We're, we're going to count them up. 15. I might, I, might, might, I might be a liar. And I didn't get my five-gallon challenge. I came very close two times. But Will here, first fish <laughs> of the day, caught him a crappie that it says big as a five-gallon bucket. You're, and You're only as good as your guide. <laughs> You know, that's, and that's the truth. You're only as good as your guide. So, you know, I, otherwise. I, I just been getting lucky, but it's, it's just something I, I, I've caught a couple already that size in this spot. And, uh, I'm happy that I got to bring Will out here and show it to him. Um, definitely a fish of a lifetime, but we're going to take it back to the dock, run up the Creek here, and we'll see you at the cleaning table. I want to do a survival challenge. I go camping and all I bring is beans and rice and then the proteins on me, you know? We, end, we ended the day with 10 and I said I wanted to catch one that was as big as a five gallon bucket. And I came close, but uh, Will definitely did. We'll do one more um, demonstration for you. That's it right there. And that's no joke, a five gallon bucket, folks. 
five gallon bucket challenge uh and we did it now that that's the biggest fish but we got one you can look at this one that i caught he's nearly as big i mean he probably is that a, is that's a five gallon so we we achieved the challenge twice today uh and i can tell you that there's not very many places in the world you can catch crappie that big i mean that one is just at it too so some trophy fish um but we're gonna go ahead and fillet them up real quick um i'm gonna do one i'm gonna show will how to do it and then he's gonna do one for his channel the best thing about the fillet knife cutting board combo here is that it has that built-in sharpener so you can touch your blade up right before you clean your fish um i'm not gonna dirty will's board up so funny thing is we are both affiliated with toadfish so this is will's toadfish it's not even mine um but you can get a 15 percent off on anything on their website if you use the promo code tug trash 15 15 percent off anything on their website but with no further ado let's start with one of these smaller fish and show you how i do them um kind of get under the scales and just do your classic cut right behind the head like that i angle that way so i get all the meat and i mean it's pretty similar to just about any fish man that knife is sharp just slide it right down the back i get down here i come through then right here i'm pushing down on the skeleton so my knife rides real well and this is the little trick part of come around here so they can see the little trick part of a crappie is they have a big rib cage but there's meat on the other side of it so you get to that rib cage right there pop pop those initial pin bones and you push down and you want to ride that rib cage down just like that just like that and there's a little nugget of meat right on the bottom so I mean that's the only thing that's like a little bit tricky about them is get that little extra piece of meat right there and then pop them off like that and like I said the big old rib cage and just like any fish out there the skin comes off pretty easy super sharp knife I'm pulling with the skin and kind of just holding the knife in place and you got you a beautiful speck fillet is there are there pin bones in here there are some little pin bones okay Hold, you're keeping me honest here, man. <laughs> so you come in, take your little pin bones, and where's Fred? And what about this guy? Here, Bob. We'll put that right there for you. Have a good day. All right, folks. So we got these fish all cleaned up, and at this point, we're going to part ways. He's headed south. I'm going to head east back to my house in St. Augustine. I'm going to cook up some lunch i'm not sure yet i was just thinking i can't do another fish sandwich for you guys but uh big thanks Dude. to clams for coming out thank you and thank you. if you watch my channel and you haven't checked out his channel cooking with clams yet definitely go check it out he kind of specializes in cooking all kinds of cool crazy stuff and um underutilizes uh pieces and cuts of fish and things and he does a little bit of everything so definitely go check him out i'll put him right here and uh I'll see you back at the house. Crappie piccata, not crappie piccata, crappie piccata, or maybe sacale piccata sounds better. But Chris is putting the dishes away and I'm going, the dishes, I'm going crazy. But I always like when I can knock a whole video out in 24 hours and that's what I'm gonna do. I've got uh, six fillets here. And what I did was patted them dry. I'm gonna go ahead and season them with a little bit of salt and pepper and non-traditional, but I am gonna put a little Cajun seasoning on them just for something a little different. Um, boom. I don't think you'll ever see anybody put Cajun seasoning in a piccata, but I like the seasoning, so it is what it is. And the, putting the seasoning on the fish before you put it in your flour dredge will make sure 
that you taste the seasoning and not just flour. So, bing, bam, boom. Then we'll take our, and that's a, that's a big filet, mm -hmm. and just lightly dredge these in flour. Not too thick, not too thin. Make sure you get all the surfaces. Why are you saying dredge and not just coat? Because that's the <laughs> word. fancy. My fans will support me. It's called dredge and flour. Fancy word with tongue crunch. Just because I know lots of big words and more than you doesn't mean you should make fun of me. <laughs> I teach kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. well, the worst part about making piccata is over with. It makes a little bit of a mess when you're flouring up those fillets. But for a, like a mild white fish like these um, specks or like a flounder or something, it is a great recipe. And really, it doesn't take that long once you get everything going. We're going to do angel hair. Mm -hmm. Where is it? It is right oh. here. Made from the real hair of <laughs> angels. Um, and we've got some heavy whipping cream, some chicken broth, some capers, and some cheap white wine. That is going to make our sauce. Some butter. I don't recommend doing it in your cast iron because it's real acidic, but it's all I got this evening. I need a stainless high-sided saucepan, but I'm going to keep cooking for the YouTube. I need a haircut real bad. You need Get... a lot of things. Well, you know, I had somebody taking care of me. <laughs> so I heated up a little bit of olive oil in my pan. I'm gonna go in with some pads of butter. Get that melting. And I, cause I do kind of want a shallow fry on this. We're gonna go in with our fillets, like so. Pasta just went in. I'm gonna use my ultimate spatula here get a Ooh, get a zone. get a little flip on those bad boys bing bam just a light light fry on these rolling boil right rolling roaring rolling <laughs> definitely not roaring. I know. But look at the pretty golden I got on those on the flip there. Beautiful. This is going to be... Now angel hair cooks a lot faster than like spaghetti or something. Because it's so thin. It's the hair of angels. That's a lot of angels hot. died for this pasta. That doesn't make sense. Because <laughs> it's her hair. Oh, well, I guess we could have just grown. I think it's done. I'm going to go ahead and assemble my ingredients that I'm going to need as I put my sauce together. And got everything open. It's always a good idea when you're cooking so you don't mess up and have to scramble for something. Capers. Capers make it a, a classic dish. What's in there? I made a little cornstarch slurry because I like my sauce thick uh -huh. and I'm not sure how thick the sauce will be. So in case I need it, I made it. But instead of using just water, I used a little bit of that chicken stock. Mm. Now, in a perfect world, I'd have made some fish stock or had some fish stock, you know. But this is just a regular Thursday evening at the Tug Trash household. <laughs> Now we've got all those delicious drippings in there, but it's a little bit more oil than I really want. I'll show you guys a little trick. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of this oil out of here because I don't want my sauce to be greasy. No, definitely not. So. Well, I'm not even gonna film what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go in with like 
I don't know, a cup of chicken stock, um, the juice of half a lemon. I'm catching those seeds right there in my hand. And then a little bit of white wine. And I actually meant to put this white wine in first, but we'll put a little white wine. Now, we're just gonna let this reduce all the way down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it way down. And now, if you get some of the caper juice, I really don't think that's an issue because it has a tasty briny flavor like that. That was like maybe half a jar of that little capers. And I have a cut on my hand right now. It's burning. <laughs> it hurts bad <laughs> from the lemon juice. So simmer, simmer. I'm gonna, it's reduced by half at least. Um, I did off camera add, I tasted it and added some more lemon, the other half of the lemon. I like it lemony. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this cornstarch slurry. That'll thicken everything up. I'm gonna doo -doo -doo, stir that. Then I'm gonna add a touch of heavy cream and stir that up. Um, Where's that little baby whisk? This one? Yeah. Get it, I don't want it bubbling hard. I'm just gonna whisk in two pads of butter. Mm -hmm. That'll make that sauce super rich. All right, so then I'm just gonna put my fillets back in. Mm. And we're gonna let those kind of reheat and, and get happy in there. Uh, I'm trying not to break the fillets, but. That's so good. Just like that. Mm -hmm. uh, last one in there. Beautiful. And we will just kind of. Cover them. Does that look delicious or what? Yes. With the capas? Gotta get the capas on there. All right. And it is done. Just like I said, we're just going to let it. I'm going to get bowls. Yeah. Or do you want a plate? I want a bowl. What do you want? I don't care. The creamy piccata. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. And a few more capers. I'm calling this okay. dish Sakale Piccata. First impressions. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. You know, it kind of almost tastes like flounder. Maybe I have it in my head because I was saying flounder earlier. But it's got a, just a very mild taste. Well, the other night when we ate it, Fried. Yeah. I definitely would prefer it fried. Over but, this? Mm-hmm. But I really love piccata in general, so I think anything mm. piccata made. That piccata sauce is good though. Would be that's what I'm saying. Like it's great flavors. I think I would prefer the fish fried, but it's good. That's going to be the end of this one, guys. Um, thanks for tagging along. And thanks for Will for coming out and filming with me. And you guys go check out his channel, Cooking with Clams, on YouTube. And same handle on Instagram. But thank you for all your support. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, they um, calling me. Phones won't let me.